All right, number 17 on middle grades math, um, 240 tutoring practice test. So this is one of the questions that I'm not 100% sure what the correct answer is in this case. So I'm gonna kind of explain like what I think the answer is and then we can kind of roll from there. And so let's start off with, I believe to be able to do this problem, what we need to make sure we understand is, is this idea of the triangle inequality theorem. All right, so the triangle inequality theorem states that if I'm given a triangle, okay, so let's just choose a, tri let's just draw a triangle and I'm going to call this side C and I'm going to call this side A and this side B. All right. I'm just given C the longest side because that's always like in my mind, I like to think of the longer side being C. Um, it's not that big of a deal. So what the triangle inequality theorem says, is it says that side A plus side B should always be greater than side C. So the length of side A plus the length of side B should be greater than C. Side B plus side C should be greater than side A. And side A plus side C should be greater than B. So essentially it says the sum of any two sides must be greater than the measure of the third. So when I look at this and I start now analyzing this, let's test it out a couple times. So let's just take a couple things and test it out. So let's call this A. Let's call this 10 right here B. And let's call this guy 18 C. All right, so the question is, is what would A have to be to make this true? So let's just start off with the first inequality. Let's do A plus B must be greater than C. So if A was 8, so let's start with the lowest. So if I did 8 plus 10, is that greater than 18? And the answer is no. So the following, so 8 could not be a value of X because it doesn't meet the first requirement. Let's try the next one. Let's try 9. So now we're doing nine. So let's try that out. So nine plus 10 is greater than 18. So check it meets that requirement, it meets the first one. Now let's do B plus C. So 10 plus 18 is greater than, um, uh, let's see, nine. So that's, that's A, right? So that works, so check, check. Let's do the last inequality, let's do A plus C is greater than B. So remember A is nine, so nine plus C, which is 18, and that's definitely greater than 10. So that one works. So which of the following is closest to the value of X? So that would work, all right? So let's try another one, so let's try 8.5. So I'll just change colors. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can get this to work. My pen for some reason stopped working. There it goes. All right. So now let's do 8.5. So 8.5 is now our A. So A plus B. So 8.5 plus 10 is greater than 18. Check. Okay, that worked for the first one. So let's do the second one. B plus C is greater than A. So B plus C. So 10 plus 18 is greater than 8.5. Check, that works. And let's check the last one, A plus C. So that would be 8.5 plus 18 is greater than 10. Check, so that one also works. So let's try the last one, let's try 9.5. Well, at this point, we can clearly see that if nine worked and 8.5 worked, 9.5 is gonna work. So my confusion about this one is the way the question's asked. Which of the following is closest to the value of X? So when I look at this question, I don't see what else to do with this. I don't know whether to try to answer all three, which I don't think it'll allow you to do. Um, and so I'm just gonna hit pause and just kind of make one last thought before I wrap up this video. Yeah, so, you know, after looking at it, I don't see what I'm sure that what's going on right here is I'm not seeing like the, how to do something with this triangle in green. I can tell you a couple of things that we don't know for sure. And we don't know anything about whether or not this angle right here is a 90 degree angle. There's nothing that says that we can prove that right now. Um, 
I mean, we definitely know that we have, uh, like, if we look at this triangle one more time, I'm just going to redraw it since I wrote on it so much. So one thing we do know is we know this is 6. We know that's 10. And we know that's 18. So like if I like if that was a right angle, then what I could say is I could do like Pythagorean theorem. I could figure out what the length of this entire side was. The problem is, is that I don't know that's a right angle. So I can't use a Pythagorean theorem unless I know it's a right angle. And so to me right now, I'm kind of at this like stuck sticking point. Um, you know, nine works, 8.5 works and 9.5 works. We verified it. We've like proved that eight does not work. And so which of the following is closest to the value of X, you know, I, I'm not hundred percent of which one of those to choose. So, um, let's take that conversation, kind of roll with it. Let me know if you have any, any additional questions. Um, thanks.